Welcome to Cherry Knoll Whiskey Reviews. I'm Steven. And I'm Steve. And today we are going to be looking at our second bottle of Blackened. We really liked the first bottle. Yes. A lot. The standard Blackened uh, is just a delicious finished whiskey. I'm a little nervous getting into this one, seeing the, the, the proof of it. Where did it go? 116.2 proof as a, compared to 90 proof of the last bottle that we drank. Right. So that'll be interesting. Right. So this Blackened is a collaboration with Wes Henderson, which is the creator of Angel's Envy. Uh, it is cast strength at 116.2 proof, as Steve said. Uh, this is one of their limited releases. I know that they have also done a limited release with Willet. Ah. Uh, I was not fortunate enough to actually find one of those bottles when they were available. So, so that ship has sailed. Yeah, sadly. Finished in white port wine. Right. Casks. So That's, that the standard is black brandy. So switching over the finish to the white port. It's a lot different. Yeah. It's a lot different. So the flavors are going to be definitely... On a different scale. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get into it. Ready to give it a try? I am very ready to give it a try. <laughs> nice. nice pop. How's it smell? Very good. A lot warmer than the last. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's uh, all the sweetness. Well, it still it still smells still sweet, very sweet, but all of the like berry fruity kind of sweetness is gone. We, uh, I feel like we replaced some of those dark <clears throat> fruits and went a little bit lighter fruit. Mm. It's not quite red berry no. yet, but it's not the deep, rich fig either. Yeah, definitely, definitely not fig. It smells more like, uh, kind of smells a little bit like an orange cranberry sauce. Yeah, I can see that. A little bit of citrus in it. Yeah. Yep. Right. But also like a lot of just straight up brown sugar like yeah, molasses a lot of, brown sugar a lot of caramels molasses uh like you said a little bit of that citrus yep a little bit of baking spice but certainly not as much as the <clears throat> standard blackened no definitely not ready to dive into it yeah getting right into this one yeah So a lot more spice up front. Yeah. Uh, the standard black end is very sweet up front. This one's got a little bit of like a peppery spice yeah, right off the bat. Definitely. You know, for 116 proof though, it's not that hard to drink. It's it's really like it's not bad at no, all. No, it's at all very easy drinking for that proof point. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So off of that like initial baking spice, you end up getting a lot of vanillas mm -hmm. into uh, kind of brown sugars. Yeah. Or like a, a, a browned butter almost. 
yeah, for me, it's like, like really all I'm to, I don't, I don't know if this is just because I'm not used to the higher proof burn, uh, or whatever, but I, I, to me, it's like, it's just the brown sugar. Like I just get, I just get straight up like sweet brown sugary molasses type, uh, flavors. There's citrus in it. Like a uh, orange, uh, the oils mm. of an orange peel, kind of sitting right on top of that brown sugar. I I wouldn't say that's like orangey though. I would say it's more like a more like a lemon or a lime kind of citrusy, like a well, more I'm acidic thinking, citrus. I'm thinking it's more of like the oils <clears throat> of the orange. Yeah, it's not quite like. The fruit of the orange, right. but more of the oils that if you like really squeeze out the, the orange peel. peel, yeah, right, the essential oils that yep. come out of the the orange, yeah, yeah. because it's That's the, totally it's not it. the sweetness, no, but it's that like oil and kind of strong, yeah, it's it's citrus. more the the acidic citrus from right. from the oil or from like a lemon or something, but very. Uh, very different from anything I think I've ever had. The mouthfeel is amazing. What do no, you mean it's by not, that? Uh, it's not super drying or spiky. Like, mm. despite it being a high proof, you're not puckering. Yeah, from, your mouth doesn't hurt after taking right, a sip. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's not so much that you're kind of restraining yourself from mm -hmm. going back for another sip right uh and the oils kind of coat your tongue nicely it's very smooth even though the flavors are really strong mm -hmm. it's not those peaks that you're kind of uh not enjoying it's got a very smooth transition through things yeah yeah definitely yeah it's uh it's definitely a good one you say you say transition through things that's like that's that's perfect because it's like as soon as you put it in your mouth it's like that peppery spice and then you kind of let it sit in your mouth and it mellows out a little bit you swallow it and then that's where the, for me that's where that orange flavor that orange zest comes in more and it's just like it's this slow movement right. through all the flavors and yep. I, I think that's really good yeah it's not it's not skipping anything you you end up with a very <clears throat> linear kind of profile to the flavors yeah adding that little bit of water gave it a a vanilla caramel forward on the nose Oh, it totally changes the flavor. It takes it take for me at least. It takes any sort of pepperiness out of it completely. You're kind of just left with a very a very sweet orangey type citrus. Yeah, it definitely uh, brought out more of the citrus. Yeah, yeah. Like like for me, I don't know if it was the amount of water I put in or whatever, but but there was like there was no pepperiness, no no spice at all to it. Um, that was good. Yeah, it, uh, it brought forward a lot more citrus in the forward notes. A little bit of vanilla came out, too. Right, I was going to say, kind of mid-palate, you end up with the vanillas, <coughs> and it kind of, that vanilla kind of goes into a brown sugar or a caramel note, mm -hmm. which it kind of finishes with. Yeah. Yeah, now that I've now that it's kind of been out of my mouth for a while, I'm just left with a very strong, like a like a dark brown sugar yep. type flavor in my mouth. Yeah, I would agree. It definitely finishes with that brown sugar, yeah. which is super That's pleasant. That's I, great. I like that a lot. Yeah. Do you want to compare the nosing to the standard? Yeah. I've got a a feeling that the difference between them is going to be big. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, de night, definitely night and, night and day. Two totally different things, right? 
Do you close your eyes when you smell? No. I've noticed every time I take a smell, I close my eyes. Does it do anything for you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It makes me unable to see. <laughs> yeah, totally different. It to is. Totally different. You can't even... No, you can't even you, begin you can't, to compare it. You it's, can't compare they're, they're, the two because they are vastly there's, different. Yeah, there's there's no <laughs> there's none of the same characteristics aside from the fact that they're both whiskey. Yeah, I mean you get a little bit of that sweet caramel on both. Oh well, yeah, yeah. When when it comes down to it them being finished in different things. Yeah, just, this just smells like a fermented plum. The 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 first one, the basic one. And the black or the the higher proof one, it's just like going between the two, the Wes Henderson has a note that I can't put my finger on and then caramel. It is a note that you can't put your finger on. Yeah, the the very first thing, maybe like fig, like a fresh mm. fig. Yeah, it, I could see, it, I I could see that. It's definitely a, a I don't quite get fig. No. Hmm. What the heck is that bright note? <clears throat> I think I I think I can smell what you're talking about. Maybe like uh I just think of I don't even know what the fruit is called, but my parents across across from their house they there's a a tree that has this weird fruit on it that we just discovered like 2 years ago that you could eat. Right. And it's like one of those weird things that like it only blooms every X amount of years or something. I have no idea what the fruit is. So this is not helpful at all. But it smells like that. But it's like a it's like a it's kind of like a like a stone fruit type. Thing. Yeah, it's it's a dark fruit for sure. Yeah. But then it goes directly into caramel. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. While the standard is more of just those dark fruits, and you don't end up yeah. with that secondary caramel note as strong. Yeah. These are almost going back and forth between them. I feel almost as though the standard has more of red berry in comparison. So, yeah. the Wes Henderson has caramel notes compared to a red berry on the standard. Yeah. I would agree with that. That, that standard one is so good. They're both delicious. It's so good. So, what would you rate the Wes Henderson edition? I gave this one an 8.5. We yep. both agreed on that. Yep. I would I would give this one a 7. Really? Yeah. I'm going 8.7. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. It's just slightly, because it's different, it, you know, I didn't want to give them the same, but this has the higher proof, which allows for more unpacking, and you can add a little bit of water, and it gives you different things, while the standard is kind of already at that proof point where you don't want to be watering it down much more yeah. than it is. Yeah. <laughs> a, a lot of it for me is because, like, I, I take drinkability heavily into consideration right because i think part of it is because of how bad my acid reflux is because like if i if i were to drink a solid pour of this 
it would not be happy for me. But I could drink more of this and be comfortable. So right. I think that's part of it. That's like a big sway for me is because like I can just drink more of that in one sitting. Um, so I think that's why I like this better. And I just like those darker, like sweet, fruity notes more than right. the kind of kicky, peppery type thing. Mm. Um, but both amazing whiskeys. Definitely. I yeah. I will not shy away from buying other blackened series. We got to find more bottles. Yes, we do. Definitely. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave a comment. We like talking to people. We don't bite. Well, have a good one.